we were one of the top 200 water users in New South Wales. And so we felt that we needed to do something responsible in order to cut down on our water usage. One of our problems was that we were using really good quality water for watering our ovals and making them safe to play on. We owe a duty of care to our students and we need to have a safe playing surface and so it needs to be well watered and soft. We've been capturing stormwater as it runs off the Pennant Hills Road and is funnelled down natural watercourses uh, into the King School. With the natural contours and runoffs, it was quite feasible and quite easy to capture all that water. The school had to devise a plan to capture all the runoff around the school and then irrigate 18 sporting fields. So in itself, that was a challenge. And we are now harvesting that water, are storing it in a half a million litre tank and using that water as a reticulation system to put water back on to the oval. We've had to build a series of channels, diversion drains, retention tanks and drainage lines to get that water, capture it and move it down into this new tank. There were some quite extensive changes we had to make, not least the whole resurfacing of our major playing fields. One of the challenges was to upgrade the existing King's Oval field and that involved lifting the existing oval, removing 20,000 cubic metres of dirt and replacing it with a sand and soil mix. The drainage on the main oval is a series of over three kilometres of drains cut into the sub-base. The water is drained into a tank on the side of that oval, which is about a half a million litres. Any overflow from this tank is then pumped up to a school dam. One of the other challenges of the program was we had to construct a 500,000 litre storage tank in the base of a hill. Once we removed the topsoil, we were then challenged with finding a solid core of sandstone which then had to be removed uh, mechanically by saw cuts and that also had to be removed out of sight. It's taken roughly about three years to implement the program from conception to end of production. There is obviously a fiscal challenge. It, it was not cheap. We were very lucky to attract a $400,000 grant from the state government and we're very grateful for that. And we anticipate that there will be some further savings in terms of water use in coming years.